Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. Thanks for spending a little time with this old man today. Uh, today's beer, Hot Butcher for the World, a Digital Frontier. And this is a triple IPA, Imperial IPA, uh, coming in at 10.5%. Uh, uh, this was sent to me by Jeremiah, who's with Hot Butcher for the World. Uh, he's been sending me some very very tasty beers, guys. Uh, I wish I could get them here. I would buy them religiously, just like if I could get Treehouse or Trillium or Pariah, a lot of other breweries that are really knocking uh, the ball out of the ballpark, just about on every swing. So, uh, this is, according to what I'm reading, uh, uh, the triple version of their double grid. So, uh, we shall see what that brings to the table. And these guys are up in Illinois, uh, near Chicago, I think. Uh, this is a Citra and Mosaic Hop Triple IPA. So, uh, I would expect it to be in a New England style. I don't know that for sure. Looking at the pictures on the untapped, it looks very cloudy. So, uh, on the bottom of this one, it says... It was packaged on 0804 of 20. I'm trying to read what it says on there. Uh, I think I had read somewhere where it, somebody had quoted, this one's kind of smeared. Uh, I think it's supposed to say a fistful of dollars, but it, I see fistful of kind of smeared. I don't see dollars written on there, so I don't know what this one is supposed to say. Anyway, we can see the date of 080420, so uh, it's about 14 days old. That's two weeks old. So uh, we got the ABB, 10 and a half. We got the Candon date, and uh, we got the hops that they've used, which is the Citroen Mosaic Hop Triple. Let's get it into the glass. Very cloudy, very hazy coming out of the can. Yeah. If I know these guys at Hot Butcher, they probably nailed this. All right. About a finger and a half, maybe a little bit more. Finger and three quarters of head. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. New England style triple IPA. Very cloudy, very hazy. Uh, no light coming through it. Definitely looks like an unfiltered beer. Looks like a glass of orange juice. Not a bright orange, but close enough. I mean, yeah. close enough in my book anyway. What do you think? Is that a good looking beer or what? It's great to me. Let's get it to the nose. Very citrusy, nice citrusy notes. A little dankness, hints of pine, tropical fruit notes. Uh, the citrusy hops always give it a nice citrusy punch to it. Maybe a hint of some oranges or something in there. Awesome aroma. I'm not getting any alcohol on the nose. Sometimes it's hard to hide 10.5% ABV, so let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jeremiah, and everybody at Hot Butcher for the World.
Oh yeah. That's awesome. To me, guys, uh, I'm not getting any big booziness or anything. Uh, you may you may find some if your palate if you're not used to drinking something of this magnitude. I think they've hidden it very very damn well. Incredibly smooth, not bitter, which is surprising to me. I don't know what the IBUs is on this beer, but it takes a lot of bittering hops to balance out, uh, or it's going to be just sweet syrupy mess. And they've done it very well, and it's not biting or anything to me. This is a sleeper, guys. Ten and a half percent. This one would sneak up on you, so please drink responsibly. Drink something of this magnitude at home or have a designated driver. Don't see you get hurt or hurt anybody else. Uh, that's awesomely well made. That is absolutely delicious. I cannot tell I'm drinking a ten and a half percent. Tastes like a seven and a half percent to me. Super well made. Awesomely well made. We did a little swirly swirl to get all the goodies out of the bottom if there is any. Get the final pour out of the can into the glass. Very colorful artwork uh, on their labels. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, just the color of, uh, of that label was enough to grab your attention. And, and look, and if it was available here, I'd look at it. Oh, that's a triple. It's got a date on it. Wow! In my buggy it would go. So, uh, guys, uh, you guys up around the Chicago area, I don't know how far out from the brewery they go, or if they even go, uh, if, they're, if they're distributed. I'm not sure. I don't think Jeremiah's ever told me whether everything's brewery on it, but I think they do distribute it. But I'm not sure how far out they go if they do. So, uh, if you can get their beers and you're a fan of these uh, hazy, cloudy style beers, New England style beers, you need to check these guys out. Uh, they're they doing a they doing a bang up job. They really are. So, I feel so lucky that Jeremiah's picked me to send some of these beers too. So, thanks again, Jeremiah. Right out of the fridge. Let's go sip on it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it about an hour or so. Uh, very tasty triple. IPA, alcohol well hidden to me. Uh, I would most definitely buy this beer if I could get it here, guys. Ten and a half percenter drinks like a seven and a half percent. Awesomely well made beer. Most definitely one to pick up, especially if you like this style of beer, the New England style, hazy, cloudy, unfiltered, awesome hop aroma, awesome taste. I mean. I just wish I could get some of these world-class beers like Hot Butcher does and Pariah and Treehouse and Trillium and a lot of other breweries are doing nowadays. But I have to rely on my subscribers and the breweries that send me these beers. And I do appreciate every single one of them that are sent to me. So uh, everybody that sends me beers, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. Uh, I, I wouldn't still be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. I mean, I wouldn't. That's just plain and simple. And all the support that I get uh, from the Patreon pages, people that pledge money to see the beer review and tomorrow's beer review a day early. Uh, if you want to see tomorrow's beer review, go to Patreon and support me there, and you'll see tomorrow's beer review a day early. Uh, but uh, I do appreciate every single view and comment that I get, and unless you're nasty mouth and saying derogatory things, and you get blocked real quick. So, uh, as long as you have something uh, constructive or, 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 uh, or positive to say, uh, whether you liked it, didn't like it, or whatever, uh, I'll respond back with a like or whatever. So, uh, I do appreciate all that. So, you guys, uh, that's a, the reason why I have the subscribers that I have and, uh, and uh, still doing this after 10 years now. So. Uh, 30, over 3,900 beer reviews. Won't be long, we'll be hitting 4,000. So, uh, as long as I still have beers to review, whether I picked them up or they're sent to me, we'll still go on. So, this is an awesome beer, guys. Very, very tasty. Thanks again, Jeremiah. I do appreciate it, sir. Final choke. You might see a little bit of settled sediment or settling that's going on. So let me swirl this thing around a little bit to get all that mixed up into the beer. I don't want to leave any of that stuck to the bottom of the glass. Mm -hmm. 
super tasty beer. Well, unbelievable that I can hide ten and a half percent alcohol as well as I have in this. That is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Wow. Super tasty. Super tasty. I hate to do the final chug because I know that's the end of it. Because you know, if I get one one of these, I, you know, uh, there is no more, and I can't get any more. So. Uh, it's sad. So sometimes uh, I'll get one, sometimes I'll get two, sometimes I'll get four. Uh, and it is what it is, guys. And I appreciate every single one that's sent to me. Uh, so you, you guys rock. Uh, uh, what else can I say? Uh, Over the Bear Advocate, only five people have commented on this. Uh, some loved it and some wasn't so impressed with it. Most of them are pretty good numbers. Most of them, 4.5, 4.52, 4.4, 4.66, 3.5. One guy I didn't care for it, so evidently he bought the wrong beer. Uh, and they don't have a grade. So, five people. Over to untap, 1,167 people compared to five. <laughs> you can see where that site's going real quick. Uh, they have it at 4.39. Uh, it's an awesome beer guy. That's definitely in their A category. Uh, I think it's A plus, and that's what I'm going to give it. It's 100 for me. Uh, I know a lot of the, the beers that I get from Hot Butcher usually get either the nine or the ten. Uh, they, they're, that, they're that impressive. Uh, I wish one of the breweries or any of the breweries around here would produce beers like this. I just don't understand why they don't. I mean, I, I can understand why they do some transitional beers, but they ought to do something like this for the seasoned craft beer drinker. But they don't. They do not. None of them. And if they do, you got to go there to get it, and it's not bottled or canned, so you have to drink it there. So uh, I just don't understand that. I understand them wanting to get the transitional drinkers over there, but you got to cater to the people that's been drinking craft beers for 10 or 15 years, too. So I don't understand that philosophy. Uh, that's why I don't even go to the breweries around here anymore, guys. Uh, they don't have anything that I'm interested in, and I usually don't buy. That's why you see all the stuff that's in the fridge for my go-tos aren't produced around here, because I'm just not impressed with what's produced around here. So, with that being said, uh, uh, very tasty beer to me. If you've had a digital frontier from Hot Butcher for the World, let me know what you think. It's a damn tasty triple IPA, New England style. Let me know. Till next time, let's go see what's in the fridge.